<laughs> well, we know it's a big mirror. Here we go. Hello, it's me. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new vlog. It is Saturday and um, yes, Ant and Deck are on later. I am sitting in the sunshine, in the garden, squinting at you because I can't see a thing. I've got all my craft out on the table because I'm going to get on with that. So I'm making another pebble picture and then I'm going to make some more pom-poms that you saw me making last week if you watched last week's um, weekly. But I've even got me washing on the line first time this year that I've got me washing on the line so Evie's enjoying the sun in there look and you see her laying down in the sunshine and I'll fill you in on the vets let me just go and change the battery sorry I've had to put my glasses on because it's too sunny <laughs> so yeah I took Evie to the vets yesterday afternoon they've shaved all her neck and said that it's all infected um, which we knew anyway and they've given her more cream. It's like a mild steroid cream that I have to put on three times a day. And she's on antibiotics twice a day. So yeah, poor little thing again. But hopefully we can get on top of it this time. It's better now it's shaved because you can get the cream to it instead of the cream going on the fur. But it looks really sore. So um, yeah. It's not the best. Actually, I've got to be careful of her laying in the sun with her shaved neck. But her, her neck's not in the sun, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get on with this craft. And then hopefully Mark will be back from work soon and we can have some lunch. And then I think we're going to sort the shed out um, and tidy that up a bit because it's just got a bit of a mess, really. So, right, Mark's home, so we're sorting the shed out. We're... Uh, Sorting the Mark's there's more stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, there's more stuff to do. God, dust is coming out of there. Dust is coming out of here. And Alice is munching on some grass down there because she wanted to come out. Alice. Alice. So we've yeah. got all this stuff here. We've got so many garden tools because the lady that used to live here left us all her garden stuff because she didn't have a garden where she was moving to. So, I mean, when are we going to use that? What well, is it? What what is it for? Uh, it breaks up the ground, doesn't it? I don't know. Breaks up soil and aerates in flower borders. Aerates. Aerates. In flower borders. No oh. bending. Uh, still not going to use it. <laughs> Quite a good weapon though, isn't it? It is a good weapon if we have a burglar. <laughs> That's <laughs> But this is what our shed looks like currently. So you can get a before and after. I mean them, they're the tiles we've bought for the bathroom. So they've got to stay there um, until the bathroom's done, obviously. And a lot of Carter stuff. That's Carter's, that's Carter's. Cause when he, when he moves into his own place, he'll take that with him one day. <laughs> he likes it here too much. I think that's the thing, but <laughs> yeah, he will need all that stuff one day so we've got to keep that but I want to get a box for like the balls that Poppy plays with and bats and things and garden games you know so need to get it sorted two hours later right it may not look any better <laughs> uh, Mark's put some hooks up the umbrella kind of ruins it but we're not ready for that to go up yet quite as yet and like I say that's all Carter's stuff and I wanted Poppy's garden things accessible, so they're there. Um, that's still Alice, bikes. Like I say, they're the tiles for the bathroom. They're nice, aren't they? Um, lawn mower. We've hung some stuff up there. We've propped the shelf up so it's not falling down anymore. Um, and we've got all of this stuff for another trip to the dump. Mark's favourite place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it, it definitely looks better than it was. It can't look worse. And he swept it all up. So 
yeah you can actually get in the shed now but um it'll obviously be better when we've done the bathroom but that is going to be a little while so there we go it's a good job done morning it is morning 11 16. we're um all off to see the wizard we're going to um a park the local park to walk evie she's there somewhere where are you eve there she is with her shaved neck you've got a shaved neck oh dear can you see it so um she's not allowed her collar on but she's got to have a harness on because obviously we need to, something to attach the lead to it's looking a lot better. it does look better it doesn't look as angry as it was so still putting the cream on three times a day and she's still on her antibiotics so um but she's got a bare neck <laughs> a bit chilly <laughs> a bit breezy on the kneesy so um yeah we're off there for a nice little walk and then we've got to nip into tesco's to get some stuff and then we are going to the car wash so <laughs> it's exciting isn't it yeah well on what an exciting sunday here we are oh coming up behind it's not too busy is it it's busy enough, it's yeah. Busy enough yeah but probably more people meeting up with other people that they shouldn't be <laughs> i think like i said to mark because there's an end date now you know people just think oh that's it it's all finished now we'll uh, do what we want it's not quite the case yeah hopefully we're just talking about when we're going to go to center parks in july with angela and simon and um they wanted to do the like the go ape in the trees so we're hoping that's still going to be open but You want to do that? Let me zoom in on it. So it's a bit like the high rope things, isn't it? Is that thing still over there? That big thing where there's like no harness or anything, but you climb I don't up know. really high over there. Might be. You climb up really high. Yeah. And you have to walk across. Like I know what you mean. Plank. Someone broke their leg on it. They just built a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't wear my best shoes. I got me trainers on for the first time, but it made my feet look huge. Look. No, they're just. They don't. <laughs> they're just like. Um, Wide. Yeah. Bubble size. I wear these ones. Yeah, the narrow ones. But my feet. But that makes my feet look really long. <laughs> but they are quite big. Will I get up it? <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> go on, go All right, I'll go this side. Oh. Uh. Uh. I'm heavier than Poppy yet, it's not going down. It will now. Ready? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Ready? 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 <laughs> this one was a water one that the girls used to love. But that's all been co coned off now, so I don't know if it's broken or what. What's wrong with it? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It was the water one, wasn't it? Which you had to pump. You never let us on that one. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yes, you did. Didn't mean I didn't let you on that. Flipping cheek. You never liked Well, probably because it had. Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely mother, hey? I don't think you can see him through the glass, but Mark's in there getting a takeaway tea and water for us. Nice. 
Hi. Here he comes with the goodies. <laughs> Which one do you want, Pop? Just give me one, I don't mind. Oh, you have to twirl me and Daddy have a kick there. Okay. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yes. I just need to do my tea. Yes, you do. Can you drink it without then? I couldn't. Yeah, that one is that. Can you give you a bit of a... Sorry? No, we're about three. Oh. Hi. Sorry? Got some cans, Got some of, water. cans of water. Yeah, I showed her. Um, Poppy loves the cans of water, if you remember. We got a whole strip once, didn't we, from yeah. the pub. But anyway, yeah, we've just done the Tesco bits. Now Mark's just going to put the cartons. <laughs> cartons in the bank. Go on, do your duty. Do your bit for the environment. <laughs> Get them cartons in there. Eve, what do you reckon? Eh? Hey? What do you reckon? <laughs> and then... Oh, that's very zoomed in. Oh, that's even more zoomed in. Um, then we're gonna go, little mix is on, we're going to the car wash. Right, done your job? Done that job. Let's go to the car wash. <laughs> it's a little bit busy, but at least it's open. So we need to... This was my favourite thing as a child. What, going through the car wash? Yeah. Um, we just need to see the board to see which one we want. Can you read that from there? No. No, I can't. I can. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> £10, I reckon. £10? £11. What? You don't, like... go, you don't want to go for a crap one, do you? You want to go for... Yeah, it used to be £3.50. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is some of that, actually. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm not paying £10 to go through the car wash. All right. Keep your hair on. Wind it in. You two are the most cheapest people I've ever met. <laughs> Cheap skates are us. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Don't look at me, mate. Actually, no, not me. Right. So having the wash might do anyway. We're going for an under chassis wash, which is six pounds. So, here we go. How do you read that as chassis? I'd say chassis. chassis. <laughs> is it Eve's first time in the car wash, isn't it? No, she's been in before. Has she? She's like, where the hell Eve. are we now? Little gold mine here. Yeah. Little gold mine. Buy one myself. <laughs> <laughs> See you doing this. <laughs> Here we go. They're not very hard, these brushes. That would hurt, wouldn't it? No, not really. They're soft, they're only soft. It's like a tube brush. No, not that, not that bad. Hopefully, I've got mine. What's Eve doing? Hey, where are we? Where are we? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Here we go. Oh no. 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 Oh no.
Look at that, mood lighting, that's what I'm talking about. There he is, Mr. Roast Dinner Man, mint sauce. Most important part. Of what? Dinner. <laughs> Have a look at him. Oh, camera will steam up like that. Come on! <laughs> I'll, I'll try and look at it, hang on, hang on. Steve. Hang on. Right, so in here, I can't even see it. No. We've got parsnips and roasties. Park pops? Yeah. And then, oh, the, your veggie's gonna boil over. Mm. And then we've got beef. Don't Very nice. Try this <laughs> yeah, well, that's because we haven't got enough beef. Park <laughs> oh, pops? Yeah. What's that? Monger, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's real. It's a bit cheap. Monged out as you've been on a run, haven't you? Yeah, I feel a bit, I don't feel physically drained, I feel mentally. <laughs> mentally drained after a run? Not after a run, but after I'm um, did work. You're going to be your mum. Mentally physically drained. Sorry? Who are you? Mentally and physically drained. Mentally and physically um, drained, thanks. It's going to yeah. boil over, it's going to boil over. You're just growing, I'm not shrinking. I'll I'll fit under Poppy's armpit. Come on then now. No. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, that's Mark texting me. It's ten past twelve. It is Monday. Um, I'm just a bit tired today, as I always am after the weekend. But I am going to record the fibro section because I need to record two fibro sections this week. Because I've got my COVID vaccine this Sunday afternoon, I need to sort of allow Monday and Tuesday of next week doing nothing because in case my body reacts, which it could well do because most people I've spoken to have reacted to it in some way. So I thought if I record both fibro sections this week, then I can relax knowing that I've got one to go up next week and that you won't not have one. But this week's is on proprioception so I've got to record that and record myself doing some exercises for it and then I need to nip to Sainsbury's Carter's going to come with me because I need a couple of bits which is really annoying because we went to Tesco's yesterday and if I'd known we needed them things I'd have gotten them then because I really could have done without going out but never mind <laughs> such such is life, you know. Last week of uh, Zoom before they go back to college. Hooray, and yeah, just all the usual. The weather's rubbish, which I think is making me feel rubbish as well. Just dribbled then. <laughs> Did you notice? <laughs> is that part of fibro dribbling? Um, yeah, so re weather's a bit rubbish, but oh well. Such is life. Hope you're having a good Monday and uh, I'll catch in with you later. Morning. Let me just mute Holly and Phil on this morning. Um, it is Tuesday, Tuesday, isn't it? And I look like this <laughs> because I had a massive, massive flare up last night. So it was just not, not good. I felt sick, I was just pain everywhere, could hardly walk and I think I've put it down, well there's a few things I've put it down to but more or less was because I overdid it. I did three things yesterday, so I had started off with my jazz, then I had to go to Sainsbury's as I probably said to you and I really didn't want to 
because Mondays are a bad day for me. I've probably just repeated myself, but after the weekend, Mondays are not good. So I really try not to go anywhere that I have to go to, you know. And I had to go because we'd run out of stuff, we'd run out of bread, we'd run, and I'd forgotten to get it the day before at Tesco's. So I went there, and then afterwards I took Evie out. So those three things, even though you might think like a, a normal, able person would think three things, nothing really, to a spoonie, it's... An, a lot an awful lot and obviously too much for me so um yeah that put me into a massive flare as well as the fact that the weather's a bit cloudy and rubbish at the moment um i don't know what this bit of hair is doing but you know we'll roll with it and i've got a lot of stress as well so all of the things combined sent me into the flare um, so I was really disappointed this morning that I couldn't do my low jazz because I love low jazz and I just watched them instead and then I have managed to have a shower which is good and then I've got dressed and just had some breakfast and I'm just about to edit the uh, fibro section so I'm going to do that now um, but what's really important that I want to try and get across is on these flare days that you do rest but obviously you keep moving too just so that you don't get too stuck um, but if you've got jobs that need doing like today hoovering needs doing, dishwasher needed emptying and oh Evie needs walking so those three things are what needs happening today and I'm not going to do any of them because I just can't. Um, so I've written it down on a list. I've written it to Carter, Holly and Poppy and with all their names on and they could decide who does what job. I know Holly and Poppy have got Zoom calls all day um, but they have breaks and they have this, their finish at some point so they'll be able to do like take Evie out there and or put the hoover over. Carter's already done the dishwasher so it's, I understand that there's people um, that don't have anyone to fall back on. I really do feel for you because that must be very, very hard not to have anybody to help you with the jobs on flare days. But just don't do them. Like, leave them. They can, The things that can be left, leave them. The things that are necessity, obviously, you're going to have to do. But just do it in little little stages but yeah I just wanted to uh, to share that because I think it's really important like the old Nicola would have been like oh I'll still do all those jobs and just make myself ten times worse the new Nicola says no <laughs> thought I'd just show you because those of you that will remember that Evie got really poorly before Christmas with pancreatitis um, so it may look at the state of that look I saw my hair coming out of the ponytail <laughs> let's just ignore that um, yeah so she can only have like a low-fat diet now and all her um, treats that I've made her have gone so I've just made us more um, here like this that noise is the tumble dryer by the way um, and all it is is it's rice flour mixed with coconut oil, tuna, a can of tuna and water and you make them into these little patties and then you put them in the oven for about 15-20 minutes until they go a bit crispy and then that's it and I keep them in her, her little treat tin that she got for Christmas um, but I do keep them in the fridge they seem to last up to four weeks so that's really good um, and they last because she only has like not even one a day really but yeah I just thought I'd share that in case you ever needed some low-fat dog treat recipe it's literally rice flour tuna 
coconut oil and water and you just mix it all together it does smell and look disgusting but she seems to like them so that's a win so i've just literally been sitting watching um sophie and dave on youtube now that's another recommendation so if you don't watch sophie and dave i will link their channel below for you they are brilliant they they daily vlog now but they never used to they do now it's like their full-time job um but i've just been re-watching all their disney honeymoon vlogs they've been to disney a few times but i've been watching the, the honeymoon ones which are really nice so just been watching them and i think poppy wants to watch like i say beauty and the beast in a minute um holly and carter have just taken evie out carter's hoovered and done the dishwasher so that's all them jobs done and the dinner's in the slow cooker so i haven't got to do anything with that um and that's it really just still resting and editing and doing all the usual good morning it's 20 to 12 it's wednesday towel washing day <laughs> i said to carter this morning you know it's wednesday because it's towel washing day do you have a towel washing day or is it just me i just have to split my jobs up otherwise it's too much anyway feeling a bit better tried a bit of jazz but i am really tired really tired um i had a doctor's call from my doctor in the middle of it so I took that and she's going to put me on another tablet called Duloxetine. So I'd be interested to hear if any of you take Duloxetine and if it works for you. I know what works for one doesn't work for another but if it's had any side effects, um, as long as it's not weight gain that's the most important thing but i did look it up and it didn't say weight gain it did say sweating dizziness or but um the reason she's putting me on it is because my fibro is really bad at the moment and um i also said about my ankles still really painful but i said i don't think the physio really knew what to do with me and when she read the physio's report the physio thinks it could be neurological so like the fibro so anyway we're trying this duloxetine and seeing if that helps um also i asked her because i found out from a bit of research that nortriptyline that i'm on um if you're on it for a long long time in the long term it could cause dementia so for me i was like i'm sorry but I don't want dementia after having fibro all my life, you know, um, or a lot of my life anyway. So I asked her about that and she said, there are things that are saying like amitriptyline or triptyline can lead to dementia after long term use. But she said, you have to weigh up what it's doing now and what it's doing now is stopping a lot of my pain because i tried to come off of nortriptyline and my pain just went Vroom. so she said oh we can try and wean you off nortriptyline and i said yeah but then my, i'm i'm bad at the moment anyway my fiber is just going to get 10 times worse so we're staying on it for the moment until i decide what to do with that i'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the nortriptyline amitriptyline thing theory with dementia and everything i know there's a lot of ifs and buts and side effects from medication but i don't want to be like having to deal with or my family having to deal with dementia as well as they've had to deal with fi me having fibro you know i just anyway so let me know in the comments below what you think about that I'm just going to research another fibro section for you and film that today because like I said I've got my jab on Sunday so I might not be up to much next week so if I've got another fibro section ready that would be great I can just put that out um, it's a dreary miserable day which is why I think my energy is really low as well as the fact that I'm recovering from that flare um, so yeah it's it's not great great weather to be honest the girls are zooming in the lounge this is the last week and then i can have my lounge back right this is sophie and dave on youtube 
and if you haven't checked them out already definitely go check them out I'm going to leave their um, YouTube channel links below but they're a lovely couple and they have some Disney vlogs which is always good just had to show you something I'm obsessed with this now right I'm just making dinner and um, we got this crinkle cutter thing for to make chips with and it's really easy to use it's much easier for me than a knife I think all my potatoes are going to be crinkle cut now <laughs> let me show you so this is the effect that it has this is the crinkle cutter it literally costs a couple of pounds from eBay I'll try and link one for you and um, let me show you I'm going to try and do it one-handed while I'm holding the camera but it is fairly easy to use she says I can't do it one-handed but you just chop it down like that and then chop it again that's it and then chuck them on done so I'm quite in love with my crinkle cutter now like I say I think all my my potatoes are going to be crinkle now Eve is it time for a shower is it time for a shower she says yeah get on with it are you ready steady go <laughs> Go, go, go. I died. <laughs> you died? Oh, your iPad died. Oh, it's doing Zoom. Thank you. <laughs> zoom. She's zooming. Zooming. It, um, it didn't charge. Oh, Eve, was that good? <laughs> wow. All clean for another week. Do you know, why is this layout wrong? <laughs> She got a haircut on Monday, didn't she? Haircut. <laughs> Good morning. I'm just um, putting some washing away, watching, watching this morning with Phil and Holly. Talking about family falls out, fallouts. Great. <laughs> Miserable day again. Miserable. Um, so but there's not a lot going on today moment, really apart from never, just a few little jobs up. i might get some yeah, more yeah, of my diamond art done whatever. sorry about the noise yeah i might get some more diamond art done today um as i'm in the bedroom again due to zooming in the lounge um i might do that but and i've got to wrap a few presents actually i've got to do that as well but no there's not not a huge amount going on today and um, last night felt rough again like achy and so sick of it I just want the warmer weather so I can start to feel better again but there we are still all good it's all fine I was going to show you this that I've been using on my skin um, I sort of researched what was the best and this came up as one of the best acne side face wash face wash I mean it's only little and it cost 11 pounds so it is expensive but you only need a little bit and you just wash your face with it in the morning and you can use it at night but at night I take my makeup off and then I use these um, they're just like little individual face pads to wash your face with so um, I think it's made a big difference to my skin I have got one spot that's come out here today but um, apart from that it's made a huge difference so if you're looking for a recommendation for um, like if you have spot prone skin I really recommend that um, but what I did want to ask is do any of you use a good eye cream the eye cream I used to use, it's not even got a name, <laughs> but as you can see, that's all I've got left of it, literally around the edges. So I need an, a new eye cream, but the one that one that I've been using has caused those little white dot things, and oh, there's a name for them, but I can't remember. 
so obviously it's too clogging for my pores so I wondered if any of you use a good eye cream especially for dark circles because as you've seen I have really bad dark circles so let me know in the comments below if you can recommend any good eye creams I'd be interested to know but yeah definitely check out that um, facial wash if you want um, if you suffer like me with spot prone skin with fibro how hard is it to put a new mop together <laughs> let me show you oh my battery's flashing a bit be quick right this is this is my new mop that's just arrived I'm quite excited to be honest I know it's sad spin mop and bucket so this spins round so it gets the water out quicker I got it from Groupon but I'm sort of a bit stuck I realized this this thing must go on here but I can't get it to fit this is the handle but I can't get it to fit so anyway I'll, I'll come back when I've tried to work it out yeah right I don't get it I don't get it let's see if see if Holly and Carter know what I don't get this mop at all right I've made the thing but then how are you supposed to get it to spin round while the mop's on there like without just that just defeats the object the ones I've seen there's been a pedal so when you put it like that you push the pedal and it spins it round but this one's got nothing don't get it Right, Carter's worked it out. So it's like a spinning top. You push the handle and the bottom spins like that. Let's see how much water is on there now. Oh, scrapes a bit. <laughs> am I supposed to... There you go, that's better. Ah, cool, this uh, Zooflora smells nice. Very good. Okay, I'm impressed now. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, it's Friday. And it's dress up Friday. And I forgot to change the battery, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll show you what I'm wearing. Right, I'm back. Back with a new battery. Let me put you down and I'll show you what I'm wearing on dress up Friday. So I've got this pretty dress on, which is in this print. Oh, 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 focus, focus, thank you. So this is an H&M dress, and then I've just got my little next um, cardi with it, because it's a bit chilly today. Um, got a bright lip on, and I'm just wearing my leggings underneath, which you can't see. So that's my dress up Friday look. And um, I, I thought it was really important to dress up as well today, because yesterday, was a terrible feeling day it was I felt like I got up did nothing and went to bed that's how it felt it wasn't it wasn't like that at all I mean I, I did stuff but that's how it felt and I just I think I'm starting to feel a bit trapped and I know as spoonies we are used to um, being indoors I know the people, not all the people that subscribe to my channel are Spoonies, so those of you that work and that are used to going out must feel this, you know, because you can't, some of you are working from home, some of you um, are furloughed, and I just feel trapped, that's what I feel, and I just can't wait to get out, so... The, the first date on my calendar is having a cup of tea with my mum and dad in the garden. <laughs> That's my first date. Um, yesterday, I had a really nice delivery of a big bouquet of flowers from Mark's mum and dad. So I'll show you, this is some of them, and the other half is in the lounge because they wouldn't all fit in one vase because they were massive. Um, so that's really lovely. Very lucky girl amongst the eggs there. Uh, still using my little egg dish but 
this morning, what's the time? Oh, it'll be starting soon, so let's go in. I'm on having a zoo day with Chester Zoo um, on online. I do put it on my um, social media to advertise it. So, oh, and I've got this morning on with Alison and uh, Mott today. They're hilarious, I love them, especially Alison. Um, yeah, let's see if the zoo is, I think I've just watched the chameleons. Um, no, it's not up yet, so we've got to wait for the notification. But yeah, it's really, really good watching the, the zoo days, I love it. If you're interested, it's Chester Zoo. And if you go onto their Facebook page and like it, and then you'll see when they do zoo days, it's always on a Friday. Um, and they have different animals and things coming on and the, the zookeepers talk about them. And then at the end they have like a question and answer. So you can ask any questions that you've got. And I just, I love it because I miss going to the zoo. <laughs> I do really miss going to the zoo. We're lucky we've got a local zoo. And um, we, we do go there a couple of times a year. I mean, when the girls were little, we used to have like these gold cards and you could go all the time, like any time you wanted. But it's not worth getting them now because the main time we go is a couple of times, like I say so. But I do miss the zoo. So we are planning on going back to our local zoo and my mum and dad are coming, I think, um, at some point. So that would be nice. I could take my, my Meep Meep scooter around there. And, um, yeah, there's just so many things that I want to do. But also, my brain's like, what if we get through this and we get back to some sort of normal? And what if it's not up, it doesn't lead up to my expectations? What if the girls go back to college and I feel really lonely again? And what well, I don't know. I just, I've got so many, there we go, there's the zoo. So many feelings going around my head at the moment. Right, let's see what's up next. I think it's the capybaras. It so we're oh, we're on the rhinos. I thought it was the capybaras. Oh, it's just walked off. <laughs> so they talk a bit. Let me show you. They talk a bit about it. There's a comments coming up underneath. And um, show you the animals and what they're up to. So I love it. Anyway, I'm going to watch the ride. Right, I think before I finish the vlog for this week, I'm just going to do some comments of the day because I haven't done that for a while. So this is from last week's weekly vlog. Um, Rosa Morton says, loving the sunshine, enjoyed the vlog, thank you. I haven't been able to get out this week with my pain, so nice to see the walks. Looks like it was fun. The pom-poms look great and the diamond art pitch was beautiful. It's something I do to keep occupied. Bobby, I want that chair. Looks so comfy and a great addition to your bedroom. So thank you. Yes, she's very happy with her chair. <laughs> very happy. Um, and a lot of you said, oh, I don't think it could hold my weight. Well, if it could hold my weight, it could hold anyone's weight. <laughs> so yes it's very strong um and the walks were lovely i've missed the walks actually this week i've missed going out so susan pearson says i have a similar problem with my where my ankle or other places go on me it sometimes feels like it's a broken bone and other times feels more like a sprain i enjoyed watching your walks in the sunshine i'm afraid i'm not green fingered so i can't advise on the grasses i even managed to kill an air plant <laughs> I like that. I'm rubbish with plants, to be honest. I think I was unusual, maybe because I have a brother eight years older, but I switched from mummy to mum when I was about nine or ten, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's see, I can't even remember the age I was when I called my mum and dad mum and dad instead of mummy and daddy. I, don't, I, I can't remember, but it's strange, and I'm still struggling to get used to it and try and remind myself to call us that like if I'm talking about Mark and saying dad instead of daddy but I'll get there I'll get there I'll get the hang of it anyway hope you've enjoyed this week um I'm sorry it's all been a bit of a home vlog <laughs> this week hasn't it because I haven't really been out and about apart from the weekend much but that's just the way it is some weeks and I'm I'm really feeling it actually I'm just feeling like I say quite trapped so hopefully 
I'll get out a little bit the weekend but I have got my vaccine on Sunday at 10 past 3 so I'm planning I think Monday might be a bit of a write off um, listening to how people are reacting to it um, especially ones with fibro so I'm I've booked out Monday so that I can just rest and stay in bed if I need to um, which isn't like me but we'll see see how I go but I know I need the vaccine very important so going for that Sunday and I know we've also got a bingo game with Miss Angela the one and only <laughs> through FaceTime so that'll be fun Mark can get his calling uh, cards out again and I'm sure there's other things going on so definitely stay tuned if you haven't done already subscribe and I've reached today I've reached 700 subscribers so <laughs> onwards and upwards um, hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it leave me a nice comment oh let's give you a password to put into your comment if you've made it this far I'm going to give you the password of home because this week it's been a lot at home so home is your password for this week um, take care I love you all lots and I'll see you on Wednesday for the fibro section bye Mwah.